Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here, of course, just in time. That's right, just in time for another first person view virtual campground tour. I have traveled far and wide. Actually, I drove two hours east of Houston, Houston. I'm in the, the big thicket area of Texas on Sam Rayburn Reservoir specifically at Twin Dykes Park. It's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineer campground. I have Little Red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens mod, but best of all, I have you. So let's get on Little Red and go check out Twin Dykes Campground. All right, let us cue the music. As I mentioned, we're at Sam Rayburn Reservoir, which is an impound. Wait a minute, I need to adjust my camera. Sam Rayburn Reservoir is an impound on the Angelina River. Deep in the East Texas Piney Woods. Just look how pretty that is. We have storm clouds on the horizon. It's actually raining most of the morning. And it's desperately needed. Hiking trail. So we're gonna go all the way down to the boat ramp first for my boat ramp fans. And then we'll come back and check out camping loops. It's so pretty, I, I don't need to talk. Sam Rayburn is one of the larger, I think it's like number three in the state of Texas. It's very large. This is all boat ramp parking. You'll see that just like all the other lakes I've been to here in Texas this year, this, this one's very, very low. Sam Rayburn Reservoir. And for my boat ramp fans, there's a, a three-laner, it was a four-laner. But wait, there's more. See where that big pontoon just came out of the water? So if you need a place to put your boat in the water, they got you covered here on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It's a two laner, but it's down to one lane. All right, let's go see some camping sites. We 
need to pass a boat. Climb the hill. Still working on recovering my lost video files from the computer crash. On this loop, we have primitive camping. Sites I think may have shared water. There is a hike and bike trail. I'm not sure that uh, Little Red and I are gonna check that out while we're here because it's wet. This is a primitive and RV loop. On the left down here, our lake access primitive sites. Uh, they'll be really difficult to get level in. And there's not too many places to put a tent either that's flat. And on the right up here are RV sites. And some of those are pretty nice, but I think you're gonna have leveling issues. This one is super flat. It's 30 amp only. Move it on. Some more 30 amp sites. 30 in water. There's not any real day use area inside Twin Dike. There's no really place to go swim or there's a few more RV sites. There's a hiking trail and boat ramp. That's about it. If you want to go swim, you got to go to the other side of the dam. And we have the group pavilion there. They do have a horseshoe pit. And then primitive sites on the water. There's bait right outside the campground. There's actually two bait shops. There's a, a couple more. Y'all probably want me to swing that, swing around and go the opposite direction, so that's what I'll do. We'll go all the way to the end because. You're going to want to look at these shelters. And you'll notice there's the Dude RV rig. Why like that? And that is because Trudy Thunder is, she's having some makeover work done. That's 
a good spot to turn around right here at the dump station. So these shelter sites actually have full connections, 30 amp and sewer. They have four of them. I was, I had reserve site number four, the last one there on the left we just passed, but we're supposed to have more heavy weather coming through and I didn't want to be in a tent. When it, trapped in the tent when it's raining. So if you want to see the interior of my humble abode, you'll need to go back in time and find the experiential video from this past Sunday where I show you all of the stuff here at Twin Creeks and around the area. Those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate you riding along with me, especially if you've stuck with me until this point. Thank you. Oh, I really am. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I'm here. That's why I get to do what I do. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?